Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you quickly how to walk through and set up a thumbnail in Filmora. The first thing you need to do is add the segment that you want to find a thumbnail from. So if it's the most recent video or a video that you've done, you'll just find that video and load that video. And once you load that video, you're going to want to drag that to your canvas. We'll put it right at the start here so that it's at the zero point. The importance of bringing that in to the zero point is hopefully you know a segment that you're going to want to search for that thumbnail. So in this case, I'm going to come down here towards the end because I know we left the Wild Horse Saloon towards the end here. Okay, this looks good. So this is the Wall of Death. So I'm going to use this segment as that. Now one thing that you can do is you can do a freeze frame. So we can come in here and we can select a freeze frame. Add freeze frame. Now what we can do is we can crop this clip a little bit. So let's do this. Let's get rid of the rest of this. Let's expand this out a bit. When you expand this out it shows you that freeze frame that we captured just a second ago. So what we can do is we can trash everything else by clicking the X here to get rid of that. And we'll come here to this other frame and we'll get rid of this as well. So now we're left with our one frame. Now we can crop this, so we can go to crop and zoom. We want to maintain our aspect ratio. And then pick exactly the frame that we want to have, click OK. And now we've got the frame that we want to have for our wall of death. So now if we wanted to say something in here for our thumbnail, you need to add some text to this. And the way we do that in Filmora is to add text. Now I have created some custom text here. To do that, to create your own custom text, you can find a lower third is what I started with. You could drag a lower third in and it's gonna give you a couple of things. So you've got in this one that we've selected, it gives us some letters and it also gives us this thing over here. We can just get rid of that. Now we've just got our headline. You could click on this headline, change the, the color, change the style that you want by using presets over here. Change the size of the box. Change the size of the text. And there's different things that you can do with this. This graphic editor, text editor, is not a full graphics editor. So you're a little bit limited what you can do from here. But if you're looking at a very simple, easy way to do thumbnails, this is how you can do it. And you can just place that here, click OK. If we wanted to save that now, we can then save this as a custom. So we could save this as a custom preset and name it. And that's how we would get it available over here on our custom. And then once it's available in your custom, you can then add it. And you can see here's the one that I used that's custom. I can add it here. So you can put your different text here to create your thumbnail. Now one thing that you can't do from here is that I've seen is put a, bold, a border around this whole picture. So if you want to just use this as a thumbnail, you could use it as a thumbnail. And you could also add a graphic to this. For example, if we wanted to add and come back to media and import a graphic, I could come in here and say, where are my graphics? Find my paw print. And now I can bring that paw print into my screen here and resize it by clicking on it, resizing it, and then placing it where I want. 
So you can put graphics in, overlays, text. Now, what you can't do in Filmora that I've seen is actually save this as an image. It's more about producing videos. So if you want to use this as a thumbnail, you've got to find some way to screen capture this and crop it to, to just this section that you're looking for here. So one way to do that is to go to full mode and then do some type of screen capture on your screen if you want. Um, I have this concept or this application called Snagit, which allows me to open Snagit, and I've just used a hotkey to do so. And then I can come in here and select what I want to pull out for my thumbnail. And once I select that, and you can do some advanced editing here. Now we could have started right from here because this has got a full text editor. So we could have came in and brought our text in from here and we could have added our own text. And there's a little bit more capabilities of text here with this file. So there's our new text. You can do your shadows, outlines, you can do font size, you can change, uh, of course, your, your positioning, your opacity, that type of stuff. So much more capabilities to add text from here, but all I typically do, I use my custom preset right here from Filmora, and all I add here is a border. So I go to Shapes, and I want to add my purple border, and so I simply bring my border in here, I match it up to the edges. I make it a little bit wider. And then boom, I have got my thumbnail. This thumbnail now just needs to be put in a proper format so I can save this as. I'm gonna save it as a JPEG. Test TH for test thumbnail, I'm gonna click save. And then we'll just open this up real quick. Here's our test thumbnail. We'll make it full screen. And there we go. So we've got our thumbnail completely created here. And all you'd have to do is load it up for your video. So that's a very simple way of creating a thumbnail using Filmora, your video content that you've already produced and then just adding some text and some graphics to it and then using Snagit to put it in the proper format for a thumbnail. So what I've indicated here is one potential way to do it if you don't want to buy additional software, you don't have the skills in Photoshop or some of those other graphic editors, uh, this is a relatively reasonable way to do it. Filmora is great for producing videos. So if you need video production software, it's around $70 one time, a lifetime purchase, either on Mac or on Windows, and you'll get your Filmora 9 video editor. That's what I use, and that's what Aaron Jemison uses as well. As far as Snagit, Snagit will run you about $40 to $50 for Snagit, and it'll allow you not only to capture screen stills, but you can also capture video or, or, or screenshots um, with Snagit as well. So to me, it's worth the 40 to $50 to have that. It makes it very easy. And those two combined together pretty much do everything that I need from a still shot to video capture, uh, screen capture, and um, the basic text edit editing to create a thumbnail. If you want to do more advanced thumbnails, there's products like Snappa, Bannersnack, and a few others that we'll go into as well.